Sailfish Sailboat The Sailfish Sailboat is a small, hollow-bodied board boat-style sailing dinghy. The design is a shallow draft, sit upon hull carrying a crab claw sail mounted to an unstayed mast. This style sailboat is sometimes referred to as a wet boat because, with its minimal freeboard, the sailor often gets splashed by spray as the boat moves across the water. This flat top was known in some coves as the ironing board of the ocean. The distinctive low aspect ratio crab claw sail sail gives the sailfish a unique squat appearance compared with today's more familiar high aspect ratio Bermuda rig sailboats. First impression of this low profile rig might be that it sails awkwardly, however, the crab claw sail plan shifts the advantage toward better performance in light air and also contributes to it having good downwind characteristics. The crab claw sail along with its simple two-line rigging made the sailfish one of the easiest boats ever to learn fundamentals of sailing on. Sailfish as the trade name for a board boat first appeared in 1945. It was designed and built by Waterbury Connecticut Company Alcourt, Inc., which took its name from founders Alex Bryan and Cortland Hainager. They started out constructing ice boats and branched into small sailboats after being presented with a request to quote on a paddle board for the Red Cross. The project didn't pan out with the Red Cross, but Alex and Cortland felt an improved version might make a viable personal sailboat. In 1949, Life magazine published an article showcasing the standard sailfish, calling it the sportiest little sailing craft afloat. The write-up praised Alcourt, Inc. As a result of the national notoriety Sailfish and Alcourt's later design, the Sunfish became so well known their brand names became synonymous for nearly any board style boat sporting the characteristic crab claw sail. Evolution Early Sailfish were offered in the form of boat plans for the backyard boat builder along with an option to purchase the boat from the Alcourt shop, fully assembled and ready to sail. In the beginning, do-it-yourself boat builders crafted every piece, formed and assembled all the hardware from raw metal stock, and even sewed their own sail. Boats built in the Alcourt shop received a sail, obtained through Old Town Canoe Company, made by sailmaker Ratsy and Lapthorne. Eventually, Alcourt had Ratsy Lapthorne make a sail specifically for the sailfish, eliminating the middlemen and establishing Ratsy Lapthorne as Alcourt's regular sale provider, a status they retained until 1979. Not long after introducing the sailfish, Alcourt decided to reach a broader market by supplying the boat in kit form. The kit contained a complete, ready-to-assemble boat in pre-cut pieces with the sail, and all necessary hardware included. This provided a way for those who lacked the specialty tools and specialized skills of a boat builder to construct their own sailfish. From that point forward, the sailfish could be purchased as a do-it-yourself kit or fully assembled by Alcourt. Sailfish were available in two models, the 1171-2 standard sailfish and the 137 super sailfish. Alcourt took the hollow body board boat concept to the next level in 1959 when it introduced the super sailfish with a fiberglass hull. They named this model the Super Sailfish in K. Roman II. This was the most popular model, and the one a majority of sailors remember as simply the sailfish. Models s s Models The wooden sailfish began as the 11-foot, 7-plus-1-slash-2-inch, 3.5-m standard model. Shortly after its inception, a larger 13-foot, 7-inch, 42 and supermodel was made available. In the early years, the spars were made from Sitka spruce and the sail was silk. Historic photos show sails with as many as ten panels and even small battens inserted. Sails in those days were lashed to the spars with line in the traditional manner with a marlin hitch instead of being attached by the plastic sail clips that became another familiar characteristic of this boat in later years. One of Alcourt's first innovations for the sailfish was to create a patented rudder releasing mechanism that automatically released the rudder into a horizontal position for easy beaching. By the late 1950s, 
the option of either a nylon or dacron polyester sail in solid colors of red or blue became available to complement the previous white only sail. In 1959, the fiberglass 13 foot, 8 inch 4.2 M hull super sailfish MK Roman II model was added to the lineup. The MK Roman II sported an aluminum mast and spars. The deck was available in colors of red, white, blue, green, and yellow with a five panel Dacron sail in alternating panel colors to match the boat's deck color. Not long after the fiberglass and K Roman II came on board, Alcourt stopped supplying the factory assembled wood models. However, according to the sales brochures, the wood boats continued to be available in kit form long into the 1960s. Alcourt, Inc sold their boat building company to AMF in 1969. AMF named their boat division for the founding Elcourt Company, capitalizing on the considerable name recognition Elcourt, Inc., had built up over its 24-year history. Little was done with the sailfish design in the ensuing six years except to upgrade the rudder blade's shape in 1972 to the more streamlined design also used on the sunfish. At the time of upgrade, the bronze rudder hardware of the now waning sailfish remained the same while the sunfish was fit with a new design. AMF discontinued the sailfish in 1975. The sailfish successor, Sunfish, continues to be built and is now found worldwide. Specifications Plus the hull is planked with an exterior Douglas fir plywood or Harborite marine plywood. Harborite a plastic surfaced for plywood developed as an improvement on plain plywood. Plus plus the additional inches a result of the flange where the deck and hull bottom are bonded together as one.